Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So today, we're going to do some ATC cards. Now, I get asked this quite a bit. I have quite a few videos on my channel for how to do ATC cards, how to make them, beginners, not beginners, all that fun stuff. So today, we're just going to start very basic. And if you want to see other videos that I have on here that I've previously done, if you go to my main YouTube page and uh, go up to the uh, where it says about, um, next to it is a little search. You can search in there my channel. You can put ATC cards and all my videos will come up. Otherwise, you can just watch this and watch the uh, next few videos that I'm going to put out about this. So uh, let's start basic. Um, this is a watercolor piece that I did. Um, I am into watercolors anymore. I just, I just love what they do. So I have a lot of things that I want to do. And, um, I'm going to turn this into ATC cards. Now, ATC cards are called artist trading cards. And, um, I've been in swaps for probably 15 years. I have humongous, um, notebooks of them that I've been in trades and all that kind of thing. I love doing them. They are great for you to do uh, if you're starting out, if you are creativity, create, what word do I want to say? Creativity? Creatively. Hello? Creatively <laughs> blocked. Obviously I'm blocked. Um, so I'm just going to give you the basics. So this is just a piece of watercolor paper that I did. And I have my ruler. And what you want to do, ATC cards are three and a half by two and a half. Um, and what that means is, so I'm going to take my ruler and I'm just going to mark. And if you have a cutter, you know, like the cutters that they have, you definitely can use that. It makes it a lot easier, but I know a lot of you don't have that, so I don't want to use it. Um, so I'm going to do two and a half, which is right here. And what I'm going to do is I want to make a couple of them from this. So I'm going to just keep moving my ruler down. And I'm just going to keep kind of marking a little bit so I have an idea of, you know, where to cut. And that means, hold on a second, that this is our two and a half. Now, this will make another two and a half over here. Okay, but I'm not going to worry about that right now because that's too confusing. Okay, so we have that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my ruler and you can see how well I do the lines. Oh, Oh, Kelly, 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 you'll do a little better than me. I'm, I'm, I'm off and crooked. Come on. We all know that. Okay. So you see that then what we want to do is three and a half down. So we have two and a half that way, three and a half down. So I'm going to move it over this way. And what that means is it's going to be three and a half, right? So then, and we're going to move it down. So we're going to get two of them out of this. Okay, so can you see how this is coming together? Like I said, if you have one of the, uh, I'm not the straightest person in the world. So I'm just going to kind of mark it. You'll see. You will take another minute longer than me to do this. So you make sure that you're uh, doing it spot on. Me, however, I don't want to waste anybody's time while I try to do that. So then I'm going to cut it. And again, you can see we can get more out of there. So we're not going to worry about that right now. And then I'm going to mark it, cut it across here, and then cut that little boopy off on the bottom. And you can save this um, for mixed media or, you know, whatever you want. And now I have my ATC cards. Very, very simple. And like I said, you can cut the rest of them. What I like to do is I like to go get um, from the dollar store. It's a dollar. It is the big pieces of paper that they have. It's called, oh, geez, it'll be poster board. And I like to buy one or two from the dollar store. And then I sit down and I mark all these off and I cut them out. So I have like tons of ATC cards. And then I like to put them aside. And then I will do like, um, if I have extra paint and all that and start doing backgrounds. Uh, you also could um, use uh, watercolor paper, mixed media paper, uh, printer paper, whatever you have. So that's that. And so we have one. 
Now to make a quick ATC card, what I'm going to do is I took this piece out of a magazine. I think collaging, I think out of magazines and books and all kinds of stuff. Uh, the dollar store is a great place to get that. But I have a lot of, I get free magazines in the mail and some of them I don't, I don't read or I'll thumb through and they're like people or us. I don't know why I get them all the time free, but I have them and I have started ripping out to use them in different collages. Um, so I have this and I have this. Now, obviously it's too big, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of cut her out and I'm going to leave the base of her hair, right? I'm not going to worry too much. I'm just going to kind of give her a little bit of a roundness to her because, hey, I have a round face. Why not make everybody have a round face, right? Okay, so I cut that little bit out. And I want to lay her on here, but I didn't want half of her face. So I'm going to, I'm going for it. I'm cutting up. I'm going half hand. Now you can save the other half and use it in a collage. Or you can, I know a lot of you guys uh, have notebooks and folders and containers that you put all that in. So who knows what we'll use that for. So I'm starting to get down here what I want to do. All right. So you can see it's still too big. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up and I'm going to fold over. So I have an idea where that is. And I'm going to do the same over here. All right, so we can see that's how I'm going to do it. Now, you know, you have this great background. Do you have to do all this and cover it up? No, but I think for y'all starting out for ATC cards or if you're uninspired or whatever, I think this is a great way to really get yourself going. Now, can you use this side? Yep. Look at that. You can make all kinds of different ways, different things. Who knows what I'll use? So I'm going to take her hair off. I'm going to take everything off. <laughs> because I love ripping things apart. I'm going to take that ear off because I don't want to use her, if that makes sense. All right. You see, we're just doing some fanciness here. We all know. All right, so I'm going to... Look at that. She has a little bump up there. I'm going to take that little bump off. But if you want the bump, hey, I'm not bump. I'm not against bumps. Have a bump there. Now I'm going to take my favorite glue stick, which is Elmer's Extreme. Now I'm going to explain something to you guys because I get asked this quite a bit. Elmer's glue sticks are um, archival and they, uh, I don't know about the extreme now that I'm thinking about it, but their glue sticks are archival and all that kind of thing. What isn't archival is the uh, white school glue. So make sure you check on your packaging. I I'm going to look real quick. I'm going to take the second. What am I just saying? I'll have to look online and see. It was probably on the package. But uh, I know most glue sticks are archival, but I know the white school glues that come in the bottles are not. So I'll look that up and see, see what we get. Now, I like to put the glue on the back here to stick it. Make sure you get... Now, I'm using a nonstick mat underneath. Of course, you can use paper. Um or wax paper or whatever you have, or just don't be as sloppy as me and you can do it whatever way you want. And then I'm going to decide, I kind of like this, so I really don't necessarily want that to be um, completely wiped out. So I'm going to put it on this side and I'm going to put it down as far as I can. If you don't have a glue stick, use white school glue, use whatever you have, Mod Podge, decoupage, whatever. And then I'm going to do this and I'm just going to push with my fingers to get the wrinkles out because a lot of the magazine... Um, papers, they're thin, you know, and so you can get, now if you like the wrinkles, by all means, I mean, I have wrinkles in my everyday life, so why am I being prejudiced against wrinkles? I don't know. Cause it's my fantasy world. I'm just going to wipe off some of that glue that's on here. So it doesn't stick to everything. A little water will take it off a little faster. All right. Now here's the thing. I have a little bit of the glue on the back and it's going to stick here to my mat a little bit and I'll be able to take it right off. Um, but it'll help when I go to draw or whatever I'm going to do. Now I said, here's the other one. We could have used this one. I just want to give you alternatives and you could have used it there. And I have an idea to do with that. So we'll do that in another time. Close your glue because if you're like Kelly, you have 20 of these sitting around that are all unfortunately dried out. So what do we want to do with this? I don't know. Well, let's, Let's start by painting her color, her face. Because <laughs> now's your time to play, play. Now you can see here, I got a little bit of her neck here. I should have probably cut off so her face was a little bit more, but you just go with the flow. 
So I'm going to take some, wow, what color is this? This is portrait light. Of course, use whatever color you want. You don't have to uh, use what I'm using. And I'm going in. And I'm going to paint. You can gesso if you want. I'm, I mean, I'm not going to. But you can do whatever you want if you want to gesso or... But what this will do is I can still see the eyes underneath, right? You can still see it barely. So that's going to kind of give you, um, especially if you do not like drawing. I know a lot of you guys starting out do not like drawing um, portraits or you feel that you can't, but you can, you can. So this is a great way to start. And if it bubbles, it's okay underneath because the paper's so thin. Okay. So you can see I got that there. You can still see it a little bit. What I'm going to do is dry it for a second. And it's just for quick, you know, for me on here. And we'll just take a second. And see how that little bit of glue on the mat is holding down the ATC card? So it's not blowing away. I do that with a lot of things because, you know, I don't want to have to be chasing that all over the place. All right, so I have that. Now, can you make it even, you know, more opaque? You can. You could put six layers on. You could put a thicker paint. This is more of a lighter paint because I'm not I'm not really going for a, uh, necessarily a uh, nice portrait. You know what I mean? I'm probably going to make her a little whimsical. So I'm going to take a little bit of my Bambi Brown. And I'm going to take a little paintbrush. Yeah, that might not be thin enough. Hmm. You can use a Q-tip if you don't have the thinner brushes. I know a lot of you are just starting out and you might not have it. But you can use a Q-tip. You can even use a, a toothpick if you want. I'm just going to turn this a little bit. And I'm going to go over the eyebrows. And I'm not doing it to be exactly what it was. I'm just doing it to add some of the detail, you know, the details back in, drawing my own face. I just take a little bit out of the lid and, you know, we're going to make it whatever way we want to make it. I will link somewhere up here or down below wherever uh another atc card in case you don't know how to search because i know youtube a lot of people don't know how to search it for different um things you know on different because you can do it on everybody's channel not just mine so here what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna make her head come around like that you can use your markers or your pens or your crayola markers or watercolor whatever you want just know if you're using your watercolor or your crayola markers which work just as well you can um they're you know if you put water on them they're gonna they're gonna mess up a little bit and you might not want that or maybe you do it depends so then i'm just gonna go in give it a eye i'm not going for realism I'm just going into play. Obviously, I'm going to make that her hair. So I'm going to rinse off my, my um, paintbrush. And I'm going to grab, I'm going to do some red. So I'm going to grab some red paint while that dries. And I'm doing red because I like to, um, you know, I just want it to kind of, and you could do whatever color you want, whatever way you want, but I like this on the outskirts. So I want to try to keep that, but I'm just going to make funky hair. And I'm going to draw it. It's only half. And this is how I'm going to start. I'm just going to randomly do this and paint it in and see how I like it. Now, yeah, I did this brown in her eye. You know, obviously, if, she, if well, come on. I dye my hair. I don't do my eyebrows. But, uh, you know, you can do whatever you want. And I'm just going to color the top parts in so I can decide how I want the bang area to be if I even want it like that. But you see what I'm saying? You're just playing. Okay. 
And this is such an easy way. Do you have to pick a face? Nope. You can pick uh, a dog, a cat, uh, a sun, a moon, a uh, medicine, something that you look at. Just look at it differently, how you can play with it to give yourself a little bit of an idea, you know, so you, you feel a little bit better because I, you know, I just think we should all be doing art. I think that nobody should be afraid because there's, you know, to start out, you don't have to have all kinds of great stuff. Look, I've used, you. if you don't have a background like that, guess what? Use a white piece. Look up, look at me. I, I cut it crooked. I didn't even cut it, <laughs> cut it even. It doesn't matter. We're having fun. That's the point. That's the point. So, and like I said, we can collage. We can do all kinds of stuff. So I'm going to go underneath a little bit and just give her some. Oh, and you can use glitter. And I mean, think about the stuff that you can use. And you see, we're just kind of, and you see how we fixed that little neck issue, right? And you know, I like to use this color for her lips. So I'm going to, she got some big lips, but that's all right. I wish I did. I hate not having big lips. As I get older, they get thinner. And what I want to get thinner, it gets bigger. So I don't know. I don't know. I'm just going to love what I got, right? Okay, so you can see how we're doing. Now I look at this and I'm like, uh, maybe I want the hair a little bit bushier on top because I got the bushy hair. I have bushy hair everywhere. Point is, do I care? Do I care that I have bushy hair everywhere? No, I don't care that I have bushy hair everywhere. I can't even say it. It's like a tongue twister of three things. All right. That's why I paint and I don't write. Or talk. I mean, I talk here, but I don't. It doesn't matter. Okay. So you see how we're going there? Look how fun. Look how cute. Nothing major. Nothing major. Now let's check. Let's do a um, eye color. So what eye color do we want to do? Let's do. Let's do a little metallic purple, just because. You could do blue. That would be great because it's going to pull that dark blue. I'm going to take a little bit of metallic. It's called metallic amethyst, and I'm going to use that white white little, this is a, um, Martha Stewart paintbrush. Um, and it's, I don't know. It doesn't say the number on it came in a pack. So I like it cause it has that little bendy thing. So I'm just going in, gonna paint. Remember you don't have to be even on the other side. Cause I know that's a big thing y'all worry about, but we're only doing one eye. Look how fun. Look at that. That's it. Fun to do with the kids too, you know, for them to pick out. Like I said, we're not going for perfection. We're going for playing and having fun. Now you can see basically, I mean, that's, that's as quick as it can be. Now, do you want to add maybe, and she looks nothing like, like this. If I put that there, you wouldn't even know. Look. And that's the whole point. You're just playing. You can take, which I don't know if I'm going to do this now on these ones because I have, uh, I'm going to be doing baby doll with these. You can put a flower in her hair. You can, um, we'd still got to add the pupil. You could put a bunch of flowers in her hair. You could put flowers as her hair, right? You could do all kinds of stuff. So think about that as well. You can doodle around this part if you want or in her hair. I'm going to give her her pupil. You can do eyelashes on her. I mean, you can really go all out and just have a blast, right? So there you go. Very, very simple. You want to add a little bit of, let's see if this has ink in it. I don't know. You know, to give more, um, to her lips, you know, some more form. You want to clean this up down here where I kind of messed up. You go to town. But the main thing is, is you have a nice ATC card, write a nice word here. Love, happiness, uh, you know, whatever, you know, I'm a quote freak. I love me some quotes. 
have a blast and you have a cute little ATC. It really didn't take us long. It took more me talking than it did for me doing. You can add eyelashes. You can add some blush. You can add some glitter. You can just go to town. But this is a very quick and fast ATC card that you can do for beginners that really takes no effort and you don't have to draw. So I hope you guys liked it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and share this for me everywhere. I do appreciate it. And if you're not already, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, the subscribe button is down below. I put out content probably five uh, days a week, sometimes more. Um, and I just love to do everything. So that's it. So as always, please be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. And I love you guys so very much. You guys rock. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.